And finally today, from our You Cannot Make It Up file, this weekend marks the 40th anniversary of the Watergate hearings, the investigation into the granddaddy of modern political scandal, skullduggery, leaks, lies, and Washington cover-ups. So, of course, it's our Face the Nation flashback. I began by telling the president that there was a cancer growing on the presidency. White House counsel John Dean blew the lid off the Watergate cover-up when he implicated Nixon and top aides, himself included, in his Senate testimony. During the hearings, he described Nixon's obsession with disarming political opponents. There was also maintained what was called an enemies list, which was rather extensive and continually being updated. Dean told the committee that Nixon's enemies were being audited by the Internal Revenue Service, a claim verified when Watergate special prosecutors subpoenaed White House audio tapes. Note to those who missed the point, didn't work then, won't work now. Someone always tells a reporter, and reporters protect their sources, which is what FBI official Mark Felt said on Face the Nation in 1976 when he talked about the importance of whistleblowers. What I'm wondering is that whether you want to take credit at this time for helping unmask any of the Watergate cover-up. No, no, I'm, I'm not deep throat. And the only thing I can say is that I wouldn't be ashamed to be because I think whoever helped Woodward helped the country, no question about it. What we later learned, of course, was that Mark Felt was deep throat, okay. and he guided reporters Bob Woodward and Carl Bernstein through the web of deceit that was Watergate, the scandal that brought down the president. Our Face the Nation flashback.